Hello guys, what's up? I'm very fine. How are you all? I hope everyone is safe and it's a very good morning. Today I'm gonna talk about the trade setup I took in 14th September to be funded for the third time. In top step, you have already seen the screenshot I have added at the beginning of this video. Though before top step, I had to another funded account. One is in FTMO and another one was in you know the my forex fund but unfortunately all you know that my forex fund has some legal issues so nobody can trade anymore in forex fund until it's solved after it happened i have decided to take another account to another platform and i have cho chosen the my uh, sorry the top step account and alhamdulillah in 14th september pm silver bullet time i got this setup and i took it and i'm funded over here Though I'm talking about all of this platform, please trust me guys, I'm not affiliated with any of this platform. I'm just sharing my success with you guys and you can say it's the enjoyment. So that's enough chit chat. Let's go to the chart. So in 14th September at PM session, I mean at 2 from here, when price was over there, I was thinking for a buy. The reason was the price was just above the new day opening gap and it has actually cleared this sell side liquidity traded this fair value gap gave me this market structure shift and this place was very important for me to take the uh, take the buy actually and also there is another reason as all of you know that i have uploaded two two videos i think two videos about how to mark the buy side liquidity or sell side liquidity in one minute chart and i saw i have seen that this place was very you know clean they are relatively equal high so this buy side liquidity is very clean market should go over there and it's already in the pm session zone silver bullet zone if you see this low let me mark this one as well uh, so that that will be really helpful for you guys to understand what i was thinking and another thing guys i'm just using the reply mode so that you i can explain everything what i was thinking in that specific moment and that will help you to think like that way i think it's very you know helpful for you guys that's why i'm just using the reply mode so when I've seen prices here, I was waiting to come to this new day opening gap. And if after that, I was expecting a market structure shift. So let's see what price did. So price came to the new day opening gap and try to went higher, but it came back again, again, and okay. When I've seen this uh, bull candle, I was thinking that should I go for the buy to this fair value gap you see the fair, uh, this candles high and this candles low there is a fair value gap should I go for that and is this the market structure shift let me mark it as well so that it will be easier to see is it market structure shift and then you know the rules it didn't meet any of these rules it didn't trade any fair value gap over here also it doesn't have any swing low on on the left hand side or on the right hand side both of side it doesn't have the swing low so it is not a valid market structure shift for me so i let it go i was waiting for more you know confirmation or more clear price run then price came back when it came to the it actually closed below this new day opening gap right that moment i was thinking if market can break this low as this is the swing low which has actually traded this fair value gap also it has the swing low swing high uh, on its both side if it can break this low with uh, energy then i will try to take a short and my target will be below this low my strong opinion is i really would like to see the market structure shift to the you know upside not the downside it's because i as my understanding i have seen that it has actually done its job to the lower part so it should go higher and clear this buy side liquidity first then if it like to it really wants to go lower then it can go so i was waiting what it can do okay so as you see it actually tried to go lower and and failed to break this low it started to go higher okay and that candle when it went to this place i saw that it has actually shifted the market structure over there you see this is my market structure shift and here is my fair value gap 
that was my farewell look gap market has opened above the new day opening gap again give me a market structure shift this is valid market structure shift because this high actually traded this fair value gap so this is valid market structure shift and this is my fair value gap i was thinking if market can come over here then i will take the buy if it doesn't come over here then this will act as a breakaway gap but it should come over here because you can see this is the water block high as well so my thinking was it should trade this fair value gap first then it started to go higher let's see what market did it tried to come lower boom when market just tapped to the upper level of the fair value gap i was in the market trust me guys i was in the market and uh, my target was above here be just above little bit above of this buy side liquidity i was over there but i will say what if it doesn't come over here then what i would do when i have seen this this specific this candle i already in the time i marked this order block if market uh, didn't give me any chance to uh, take the entry to this fair value gap then i would take the buy entry to this order block level because i was be confident I, i would be confident that this fair value gap is acting as a break uh, you know the breakaway gap so market should trade this order block level and went uh, need to go higher but i was lucky so i take the entry to the fair value gap market actually gave me the chance to take entry over there so i didn't uh, actually trade didn't take any entry to this order block level you see it has just came to the order block level so i didn't add any partial entry over there i was just waiting to complete my you know um, funded challenge so let's see market what did it happen okay when it started to go up and down i was little bit scared it's because you know the real money is always scaring i didn't actually want this consolidate over here i was wanting it will just tap to the uh, water block level then it will go it will give me the sharp run you know a bull run a big run and clean this buy side liquidity and you can see boom this specific run when i have seen that i just put my stop loss just below this order block you can see here i just put my stop loss over there and my entry was over here so i actually uh, secured my profit so if it really doesn't want to go higher and come back lower i didn't want to take any losses and very next candle i have seen this this one so it has actually made a fair value gap when i have seen this fair value gap i actually made it higher little bit higher it's because this gap should be open why it's because when it has just traded this new day opening gap as well as this uh, fair value gap also the water block level then the water block level then consolidate over here and give me the run and it is just after the pm pm silver bullet that means the three run uh, that means 250 to 310 macros run in that case it should go higher clean the buy side liquidity that is the thing of the macro i will describe about everything the macro but give me give me little more chance guys so i was expecting that this this gap should be open uh, before going further more i would like to announce something actually uh, from tomorrow i will upload the you know daily wise video before the new work session am session i'll try to upload the 7 am uh, the daily wise video if i see anything very important then i will upload the video before a uh, new work session at 7 am new work local time and uh, if i took any you know take any trade entry or if i need to explain about the trade that has already done in that day that means the trade analysis video then i will upload that at 6 pm new york local time and every week i will try to upload a video that will call you know the weekly analysis video i will upload that at 6 pm new york local time in sunday i will try to maintain this uh, time table so that you guys can know that when i am gonna upload a video i will really try to help uh, try to follow this time table okay uh, so let's let's go back to the um, chart again so when it happened what i what i was i was thinking that this this gap should be open so market actually didn't you see it didn't trade this fair value gap and boom in that specific candle i my trade was closed so 
let me actually uh, do this thing my entry was over there and my stop loss was just below the water block level it and my profit target was just above the buy side liquidity i think one or two tick above the buy side liquidity and guys uh, it was one is two near about four uh, risk reward ratio uh, though guys to be honest i really don't trade depending on risk reward ratio i always try to go for the buy side liquidity or sell side liquidity it helps me to be win to you know the winner most of the time so but some of you actually love risk reward ratio so you can say it's one is, uh, one is to four near about four risk reward ratio and uh, so far i remember i took uh, 250 dollar risk to get profit near about 800 to 900 dollar and that a specific uh, entry actually helped me to complete my combine uh, to top step and guys actually very soon uh, I go, I'm gonna start a series which will help you to understand the process step by step uh, about the trade entry or trade setup how do I take every how do I actually decide to take an entry everything I will try to start from the very beginning so that guys uh, you can be more you know more clear about this total concept or the model but i need little little more time so stay with me guys if you are new please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm very new and i'm really trying heart and soul to share everything i understand trust me guys my goal is to provide education rather than getting attention i don't need attention i just want to give everything i know to you guys so that's all for today i think it will be a very insightful for you guys take care of yourself and your family and see you guys be safe bye bye